The Interpolators is our team name. We all just kind of came together, we had a lot of complementary skills, and that's how I would describe the team, a bit of a extremely capable hodgepodge. Yeah, so the challenge that we picked was um, waterway health, so monitoring the smallest New Zealand waterways. Largely they're not monitored particularly well, um, just because there's so many and it's, it's just kind of impossible to be able to do it with our manpower. Um, so it was, it was something that we felt quite strongly about. Waterways are really important because we can kind of extrapolate a lot of information from waterways um, about other environments as well. So during the 24 hour, hour hackathon, we created a prototype tool and it, it performed a series of very specific te steps on one image of satellite data. The tool finds water and it does this by looking at the different wavelengths in the image and there are certain combinations of wavelengths that you say is water. In the same way that if a human looks at something that is like blue, green, clear, we say it's water. We can do the same thing with the satellite and some other more sophisticated wavelengths of light. And then the program went through a series of health indices for the water and for the area near the water. So the idea is in the same way that we could look at an unhealthy river and it looks brown and gross and very turbid, perhaps, we can use our satellite data and different wavelengths to compute an index of health for the specific pixels it sees. We got the tool to represent that overall health index on a color scale, on a re-output image overlaid on top of the red, green, blue image of the waterway. One of the really good things about the satellite imagery is that it has lots of different layers which gives us extra information. So usually with the human eye, you can only see red, green, and blue. You might have heard the, word, the term RGB before. Um, and so from that, we can only make out a very small spectrum, uh, a, a section of the electromagnetic spectrum. Um, with the satellite, we can see eight different bands. So um, you might have heard terms like infrared and near infrared and things like that, which are included in the satellite. So what we can get from that is all sorts of extra information that the human eye can't see, um, which sort of allows us to access a lot more information a lot more quickly. A lot of the factors of uh, river health are very small like they're dissolved in the water, very small particles. And so the problem is usually with something uh, like generic uh, satellite data you might get say on Google Earth or something like that, um, 30 meter resolution, 15 meter resolution. So every pixel on that image is 30 meters or 50 meters on the ground. Whereas the Maxar data, 30 centimeters. So everything that's 30 centimeters, you can see a 30 centimeter brick on the ground, you can make that out on the image. Obviously this tool isn't our final product, we, for example, we want, to, we want to include all sorts of things. For example, we want to include stuff like machine learning to classify the riparian area. So say, you know, is that a house, is that a tree? This can help our tool be more specific. We want to incorporate a time series aspect. So we made a tool that looked at one image. We want to eventually have a tool that can look at one waterway over time and detect changes in the health index it calculates. And we also want to really refine our health index. So businesses could definitely benefit from the tool uh, quite a lot, and, and regional councils as well. Um, a lot of businesses have environmental responsibilities to, to maintain, so you know, construction sectors and um, farming sectors and things like that, they've got um, sustainability goals to meet. Um, and like regional councils as well, they're, they're um, required by the government to monitor their waterways. Um, and at the moment that's quite costly. And, Ideally, with the development of this tool, it will hopefully provide them with a more cost-effective method to monitor more waterways as well as monitor them better.